Hi all, hope all you are fine. Today we are going to see the requirements for laser. What is meant by laser? Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. In one of the previous video, we have seen the interaction of light with matter. Then we have seen three processes, absorption, spontaneous emission and stimulated emission. Stimulated emission is the process that is behind the laser action. But for the laser action to take place, we have to meet three requirements. One of the most important requirement is population inversion. What is meant by population inversion? It is the inverted state of population under normal condition. Under normal condition, the number of atoms in the excited level is less than the number of atoms in the lower level. Because according to Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law, the number of atoms in an energy level is decreasing exponentially with the energy of that level. Where N1 is the number of atoms in the level with the energy E1. So as the uh, energy of a level is increasing, the number of atoms in that level is decreasing exponentially. This is the normal condition under thermal equilibrium. But for the laser action to take place, we want stimulated emission of radiation. For the stimulated emission of radiation to take place, what we required for that, the number of atoms in the higher energy level to be greater than the number of atoms in the lower energy level. So, the condition of the material in which the population of upper energy level N2 far exceeds the lower energy level N1 is known as population inversion that is it is the inverted state of normal condition in normal condition the number of atoms in the lower energy level is greater than number of atoms in the higher energy level for the laser action to takes place the number of atoms in the higher energy level must be much greater than the number of atoms in the lower energy level that is it is the inverted state of population so inverted state means population distribution between the levels E1 and E2 is inverted. So for the laser action to take place, we require population inversion. That is the number of atoms in the higher energy level must be much greater than the number of atoms in the lower energy level. This we can achieve by a process that is known as pumping. That is, we are raising the atoms from the lower energy level to the higher energy level. By using some techniques, we have to raise the atoms from lower energy level to the higher energy level and that method is known as pumping. So, for achieving and maintaining the condition of population inversion, the method used for raising the atoms from lower energy level to the higher energy level is known as pumping. The various pumping techniques used are optical pumping method, electrical discharge method, direct conversion method, chemical pumping method, etc. Optical pumping method, we are using an optical source. Here, a light source such as flash discharge tube is used. From the light source, light flashes are incident on the system that is photon source suitable energy is incident on the system then the atoms in the lower energy levels are getting that energy from the photon and thereby they are exciting to the higher energy level this method we are usually using in solid state lasers such as neodymium YAG lasers, we are using optical pumping method. Here a light source is used. From that light source, optical flashes are incident on the system. Using that light energy, the atoms in the lower energy levels are rising to the higher energy level. In the second method, that is electrical discharge method, this we are commonly used in gas lasers. Here we are applying a high voltage to the system. 
so when an electric field is applied to the system the gas atoms are starts to ionize the ionization of gases produces fast moving electrons and also ions these fast moving electrons are colliding with the atoms in the lower energy level and then they are getting the energy to excite to the higher energy level so by the ionization of the gas atoms that is happening by the applied electric field the atoms in the lower energy levels are exciting to the higher energy level in the third method direct conversion directly the electrical energy is converting into light energy usually in semiconductor laces in chemical pumping some chemical reaction is used that we are using in chemical lasers so for the laser action to take place the population inversion is required that population inversion is achieved and maintained by the process of pumping using these various techniques so we discuss the population inversion and pumping are the two requirements for the laser action to takes place the third requirement is the need of a meta stable state what is meant by meta stable state a meta stable state is a state of long lifetime of the order of 10 raised to minus 6 to 10 raised to minus 3 second why we required a meta stable state for the laser action to takes place for the laser action to takes place we required a stimulated emission for the stimulated emission first we want population inversion so in that population inversion the number of atoms in the higher energy level must be much greater than the number of atoms in the lower energy level for the excited state the lifetime is very short the lifetime of an excited state is of the order of 10 raised to minus 8 second or nanoseconds so after the completion of this 10 raised to minus 8 seconds the atoms in the excited state will spontaneously come to the lower level so that will result in spontaneous emission spontaneous emission will not give the laser action for the laser action we required stimulated emission for the stimulated emission we want the atoms to be in the higher energy level for a longer time so is third state with a longer lifetime is required for the laser action to takes place that third state is known as meta stable state the meta stable state is a state with a long lifetime of that order of 10 raised to minus 6 to 10 raised to minus 3 second this meta stable state lies below the excited state with a longer lifetime of 10 raised to minus 6 to minus 3 second so if you are taking a meta stable state of lifetime 10 raised to minus 3 second that is around 10 raised to 5 times lifetime greater than that of the excited state so if the atoms are reaching at the meta stable state they will retain there for a longer lifetime then if the atoms are retaining there for a longer time the atoms in the meta stable state will accumulate this accumulation of the atoms in the meta stable state will result a population inversion between this meta stable state and the lower level this population inversion will lead to stimulated emission and thereby the laser action will takes place so meta stable state is essential for the laser action to takes place so if there is no meta stable state population inversion is impossible because whatever the pumping method we are using for raising the atoms from lower level to excited level with this short lifetime they will spontaneously come to the lower level so for the population inversion to achieve and maintain a meta stable state is required so the population inversion is now going to takes place between this meta stable state and a lower level and between this meta stable state and lower level this laser action will takes place so for the laser action to takes place a meta stable state is required so we have to choose the elements with a meta stable state such elements with a meta stable state is known as active medium 
so an active medium is essential for the laser action to take place all the atoms may not have this metastable state a metastable state is a state in which the atom can retain there for a long lifetime to understand about the metastable state in detail we have to know about the selection rules if the selection rules are not allowed no electric dipole transitions are takes place so in that case the atoms are retaining in that state for a long lifetime so metastable state is a state from that no electric dipole transition takes place so in the atoms are retaining there for a long lifetime so i'm not going in detail to that uh, concept so you have to understand the metastable state is a state with a long lifetime of the order of 10 raised to minus 6 to minus 3 second so the atoms are accumulating in that level so the population inversion is achieved between a metastable state and a lower level and thereby stimulated emission is takes place between this metastable state and lower level and thereby we are getting the laser beam. So the main three requirements for laser are population inversion that is the number of atoms in the higher energy level is much greater than the number of atoms in the lower energy level. Second is pumping. That is the method of raising the atoms from the lower energy level to the higher energy level. And third one is a metastable state of long lifetime to achieve the stimulated emission between the higher energy level and lower energy level. Okay.